There has been a lot of talk about testing those with COVID-19 and the symptoms. Up until now, patients had to present with severe symptoms, sore throat, shortness of breath, heavy chest, and a dry cough. Now testing is being opened up for those with even mild COVID-19 symptoms. And Dr. Lisa Hookstra, with the, the, who is the director of North Ottawa Community Health Systems, Urgent Care joins us now. Dr. Hookstra, what does the expansion of this testing mean for, for West Michigan? Well, what it means is that we're going to be able to look more broadly at the community to find out how much actual disease is present. So far, we've only been able to test the people that have cough, shortness of breath, or fever, and typically patients that were more severely ill. We know that there is COVID-19 in the community that patients can be asymptomatic, and we know they can have very mild symptoms. We have not been testing those people, so we really have no idea how many people in our community ha are infected. And so that's, by, what we're, that's what we're hoping that the broader base yeah. testing would let us know, kind of give us a, a look at that, what that is like? It'll be able to give us a look to really know who's infected. It also hopefully will stop the spread because if people with mild symptoms can find out that they actually have COVID-19, then they will isolate they can do contact tracing, and we'll be able to eventually contain the disease, hopefully. So we're talking about mild symptoms. Are, what are we looking at when we talk about those mild symptoms? What should people be aware of so that they can get in contact with their doctor? So some of this, you know, the research on COVID-19 at this point is very early, particularly, you know, the disease has only been with us for about three months in the U.S., um, and most of the studies have been done on more severe cases. But looking at the data where it's at right now, most common symptoms are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. But when they're looking at other symptoms that patients present with, um, one of the ones is this loss of smell that I know people have been hearing about that actually does look like it may be more common in patients with COVID-19. Other symptoms we're looking at are runny nose, sore throat, and then GI symptoms, particularly diarrhea. Okay, and if people have these symptoms, they should contact their doctor, do a health screening over the phone? The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services guidance allows us now to test patients with mild symptoms if the system has enough testing supplies. So we at North Ottawa are lucky. We have a great lab director who's been able to figure out a way to expand our testing supplies. So we are open for those mild symptoms. Other sites around West Michigan may not be. And most important is if you have mild symptoms and you're found to test positive that you quarantine, you self-quarantine at home. Exactly, you self-quarantine and all of your contacts self-quarantine. So um, at this point, the health department is doing the contact tracing. In general, our numbers in West Michigan are small enough that the health department's able at this point to contact trace known cases. So what happens is if you get diagnosed with the disease, a health department worker contacts you, finds out who you've been in contact with over the last two weeks, and all of those people are quarantined as well. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Hoekstra, for joining us and giving us a little bit more perspective on what this new testing, expanded testing, including mild symptoms means. And of course, we've got a link to uh, the testing sites on 13onyourside.com along with more information on COVID-19.